Okay, so this is a little lower. Jowl, not good. This is about eye level. This is okay, I guess. A little bit higher. Probably makes me, I don't know, do I look younger? If I look younger, I'm gonna try to do a little higher. to get this box from Amazon because it had a few Christmas presents in it for me and one of them was this um, Rode microphone that I got for my cell phone and I got it because the sound isn't really that great I get a lot of wind noise and also I get a lot of background noise and uh, when I went to the Sansei 2018 it, the speaker or the microphone just couldn't handle like deep basses or anything like that it sounded bad so I was so looking forward to this directional microphone but it turns out that it's for iPhones, iPads, iWhatevers only even though on Amazon it said smartphones and I think it even mentioned Android because I wouldn't have bought it if it didn't mention Android so this is a total bust. And I also got this little uh, clip-on selfie light and I got this because there's some videos where I'll be walking along talking and there's some kind of huge light on me and there's a giant shadow over my eyes. So I'm hoping that having this on my phone will eliminate that. And plus, when I'm on my hiking trip, I can report from the tent at night and actually be seen with this light. So we'll try that out. And then the other thing I got, this is the thing I'm really excited about, is I got this tripod it's like one of those flexible tripods so it's got the legs that will go out and they bend around and you can stick them put them on rocks or whatever crazy position you want to so I'm super excited about this I'm hoping that having the phone on a stick like this will be so much smoother than trying to hold it in your hand look how smooth I can be so I'm hoping this works instead of having to like buy a gimbal because gimbals are so expensive and I'm kind of on a super budget here, low budget. <laughs> so uh, this little thing wasn't too expensive and I think it'll be really useful. So I'm going to take it on a walk tomorrow morning and see how it does. around the golf course and even though it was abandoned the path was still clear but since the hurricane it's completely overgrown and a bunch of trees fell on the path so there's all these jungle-esque detours fortunately the security guards that roam the perimeter they made sort of a golf cart trail so you get around but it's messy. Um, yeah, I'd say this is kind of a dead end. I started vlogging because I'm taking this epic hike this summer. It's along the PCT in the southern part of the Sierra, so from Kennedy Meadows to Mammoth. And for me, this is part two of a trip I did two summers ago from Mammoth to, oops, this is another dead end. See that? From Mammoth to Truckee, basically. 
250 miles on the PCT, and I did it with my daughter and her friend who were hiking the whole PCT, and it was amazing. So hard, so tiring, but the beauty was so amazing that after resting up from tired and sore muscles for two months afterwards, <laughs> I really did want to do it again. I want to see the whole Sierra. I just love those mountains. There's just something special about them. The other reason I started vlogging was because I've been watching a lot of YouTube lately. I don't even watch regular TV, hardly at all. Well, we don't have regular TV. I just watch, you know, what's on the internet and YouTube. And I've been watching all these young RV couples going around the US just sort of you know, living their lives in their little RVs and seeing all the sights around the country. And it's really fun to watch because every couple has a different dynamic. Some of them are families, so there's an additional dynamic with the kids there. Everybody has a different personality. People have different editing styles, which I really enjoy. So I guess I just had so much fun watching these folks. They're just normal people. I figured, well, heck, I could do this too. And last time I went on my PCT hike, I I blogged about it, you know, I wrote about it with lots of pictures, but this time I just thought, you know, it would be way more epic to actually film it, you know, and make a video out of it, or a series of videos. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> It's a little bit wild. You know, I'm just over 50 and my kids left the house. They're in their early 20s and it's clear that they're, you know, done with us. They don't need us really that much anymore. I mean, you know, a little, but not much. So I'm an empty nester and I'm dealing with that. It's, uh, it's been a process getting used to that whole new dynamic of no kids, all, all us, all the time, just the two of us. But um, yeah, my timeline is shortened. I don't, have as, I don't have as much time left on this planet as I did before. And I just feel like I don't know why, I just want to do cool things, I want to see cool things, I want to see beautiful places before I die. I don't know why, I've always loved exploring, even as a kid. I was that kid that would take the dog and wander around the neighborhood for hours, like down to Smith Canal and, you know, along the riverbanks and, you know, the vacant lots where there are all these tall grasses and you know, abandoned old buildings. I love that. I've always loved that. I've always wanted to see what's around the bend. So, I guess that's why I like hiking and walking so much. There's a lot of spiders here, so I'm trying to avoid walking through their, oh crap, nests, snakes. Um, I guess I just wanna see what's here before I go. And, if I can take some people with me, why not? So today's walk has been all about experimentation, figuring out which camera app to use. Sometimes I use open camera, sometimes I use native camera. I've tried both, 
so we'll see what the footage is like in post-production. And I've also been trying out some different angles that I can do now that I have this handheld tripod, which is an awesome little tripod, by the way, loving it. So it'll be fun to experiment some more, and it'll be fun to see what we get at the end of the day here when I download these videos. So much trial and error in this process, I had no idea. And there's still so much that I need to learn. I'm glad I started doing this six months ahead of my hike.